seated because you have been praying and praying and praying. I think the word of God has been taken. Huh? Ah. Oh, the word of God was uh, was not taken. <laughs> Bless you. All right, you may be sitting there, everybody. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. May God bless you. If you love me, put your hands together. <laughs> it's okay. Sit down, you may be seated. All right, all right. You may be seated, you may be seated. All right, uh, God bless you all. I thank God for uh, 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 everybody that are here. I thank God for your coming and also for being with me and also following me day and night. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. I thank God this day that somebody like me, God has sent in order to reveal the deeper things in the Bible for you people to succeed. You may be saying that. God bless you. Not only me going to succeed, but you look at my success. There is no any other thing. It is all about the Bible. I look onto the Bible. I go to Then I now, what anything I don't understand, I ask your God. I don't understand what is written here. Ordinary people. Let me say 99 percent. 99 percent. Ordinary people that are reading the Bible, they don't understand the Bible. The Bible is a language that every man needs interpreter. You need somebody to interpret it to your understanding. That's why pastors, prophets, apostles, they come out on their own in order to interpret to the members in the church. Right now, many people along the line, along the line, the same John the same follower of Christ, Matthew. These people write, they wrote the Bible. When they wrote, Peter wrote the Bible. Many people, they wrote the Bible. But the way of the stories, Peter's write-up story that talks about Jesus is different from John. Why? In this world, we have some people that will call it teachers that who teaches the people the people's in order to now to understand the things easier we have some teachers come to your class when they teach you you begin to you you begin to now you will say this teacher is too much when some teachers enter into your class and when they now begin to not teach you everybody in the class begin to sleep yes or no Yes, all of us we go to school so we know what, what i'm talking about I mean, yes, so what i'm talking about i'm talking about experience that is also in the bible when some pastors will come and teach you they, they, they will not the same thing they are talking but they are talking other even in the bible you see mark's interpretation about cross to the other side is different from matthew are you hearing me Yes. Some of them, John also explains it, but some of them goes with details for you to understand. Some of them they cut it off. Many parts been cut off. That is life. So why I'm saying this one? My success today in life, this Bible that you carried. I am not the person that who wrote or my father that wrote it. God has inspired great men of God in those in the days of old. From there, now inspire them, show them the things, interpret it to them, for them to now write it, and they wrote it. To my time, many have 
gone before me. I'm not the first and the last. The person who started here, I repeat, I am not the first prophet or the last prophet. God has given me this grace in order to now, in order to now make you people to understand the spiritual things and follow them. Jesus Christ is telling them about this thing. He said, those that who have here, let them hear. Because the things are very deep. That's why he has been saying it. A common man can understand these spiritual things. Except you have to now be serious and listen to, to them and act accordingly. Many people, they come to church. Ah, oh, today church is very sweet too, very sweet too. They go home. I am not like that. I have come to this. I have come to the ministry. The Lord has given me grace in order for you and I to now establish a life. I have to give it to you. I have to now, what God has given to you, to me, I have to now show. Only me, because the anointing is too heavy. For only me to now carry on. The best thing, the first thing I'm going to do, the best is going to do is in order to expose the things to you people. That you people have to now have rights and you also go and now practice them. Then you succeed, you go with them. That's all. A native doctor always shown the leaves that the father knew, knew about the leaves. The father knows about the leaves that he applied in the time that he wants to use them. So also he used them in order to show his own to his son or daughter about the leaves, how they go about it. The same thing, the Bible here, we are talking about the Bible. The Bible is also leaves. The Bible is a leaf, the oracle of God. When you look at the Bible, when you see a Bible, let me see the Bible, your Bible, let me see the Bible. Yes, this Bible you see so. What are you going to call this one? It's a leaf. You see it? It's a leaf. So, that is the part things that which is existing in the body of Christ that which many people don't know. In the this is a leaf of Christ, leaf of oracle, the oracle of God. So, native doctors they go and also take the leaves in order. To now do whatever thing that they want to use to do. You may see that. Doctors, they go on to those people, these leaves that you see in the forest. They use it and they now begin to now, you know, work on them. And they turn to paracetamol. They turn to panadol. Are you enemy? The same leaf. Then we, the children of God, we use it, that leaf that you are seeing, in order to save you through the name of Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel, it said, use the leaves. Use the leaves. Don't use it for evil. Use it to save. Use these leaves in order to save mankind. Then eat the fruit. That's what the Bible says. So right now, some people use the leaf. The leaf has been given to every man in different forms. The native doctors, they use it to roll. Doctors, they use it, they what you call Refine it, they refine it, and they give it to you. Then we pastors and apostles, bishops, we use the Bible, the leaf, in another word that's called the word. So those are the things that which you need to know, but many people don't know about these spiritual things. You're just coming to church. I have come to church, I've come to church. No, not come to church is the issue. What are the things that you learn? Depends on the, the person that who are now carrying the microphone matters a lot. Who carry this microphone matters a lot. Who carry this microphone? The level that the person operates matters a lot. So now we have come to the season of the season. Something happened. What I've been telling you about something that which is uh, many people don't understand. The mystery about God. Something unique happened. Those things are peculiar events that do happen rare once in a while. On the 15th, that is the half 
of this the month half of the month and this half of the month there are two rainbows appear yes. who are who video them uh, you are not video you are not following you video it they are there can you can we see them you video too we just look at it ah what do you do with them you pray with them that's good you can pray with them but a man that will go deeper you must video it when you once you video it you can pray it now let me tell you another secret about this about the the fundamentals is it there okay that's it okay this one where's the other one the other one smaller smaller at the back uh, there are two of them okay you are praying with it you pray with it i mean these are the things which okay you can share i've taught you about the things on the on the heavens the heavens the sun the moon the stars hmm? right that exists in the heaven the bible also confirm it are you hearing me okay you also video it if you do it Something good is coming to every one of you. That's right. yeah. Let me tell you, those that will pray with this thing, let me tell you, from now, count from now to more than you. Something will make you happy. Yeah. Let me tell you, something that's troubling you, eh, something that's troubling you, God will put laughter yeah. in the life of those people. I mean, you may be sitting. God bless you. Am I talking to somebody? You are talking to us, Papa. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good. All the time. All the time. Our God is good. Who are the first people? Who are the, the first people? Because every day here is like a marketplace. We have different kind of people that come to market and do buy their things and go home. That's this is the marketplace. Are you hearing me? Yes. Christianity is the marketplace. Let me talk. Let me tell you about little about marketplace. When pastors are see a man that will come to the church and go back and now seeing the person, the person was now buying different kind of things and also buying speakers, microphones in the church. And after some time, the man just left. The pastor began to cry. Say, hey, that man has left. Let me tell you, don't cry. That man has come to now fulfill his contract. All members are in the church. They are contractors. We call them spiritual contractors. When the contract finishes, they go. Another person take over. Oh, yes. The Bible says that who are uh, coming. How can somebody let me tell you? Don't expect every person that will follow you in the church that will end up with you. If they end up with you, that means you are not a man of God, a woman of God. I tell you, my father. Let me tell you something. Oh my God. Uh, uh, tomorrow is uh, tomorrow is the day that we are going to start operate with the chair. But today is a free day. Everyone just go and get your own. Write your name under under the share. Please write your name. Because we need your name under. Just came here newly. This is our first time coming. What's the first time? Those that will come, come, come first time. Stand up, let me see you. First time. Oh, somebody, somebody say you are all welcome. You are all welcome. This is the place. This is the place. This is the place. This is the place. The place of mercy. The place of mercy. The place of love. The place of love. Unity. Unity. And faith. And faith. Amen. Amen. May God bless you all. Welcome to the mountains. This is the mountain that you have been hearing or you have been watching on the internet. May God bless you. Many have come and will receive their testimonies from this mountain. Many people came to this place and God showed mercy upon their lives. This place is a place we don't criticize. This place we don't criticize about other men of God in the church. Any man of God whether the man of God will do something wrong with you run away from the church and go another church that's all if a man of God do something against you run away from the church because as you are now 
um, uh, blackmailing or saying one rubbish about the man of God is it's affecting your life. Come to the city. This is uh, one of the mountains. We have uh, mountain one, mountain two, mountain three, mountain four, mountain five, mountain six, mountain seven. We have mountains here and different places. So you are all welcome to the mountains. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody put your hands together. Somebody put your hands together. Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now. People ask. People do ask. Why is he talking about these spiritual things always? There are things that in life that you cannot. Yesterday, I think you learnt a lot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, are you going to practice them? Yes, sir. Very good. We are right in another section. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want also. My, my children, pastors, and also um, prophets, prophetess, to always follow my footsteps. Yes. Because it's special. That is called a special, a special thing for all of them. Amen. So, like uh, you people have been praying, today we are here to now talk about some certain things. About, uh, I, I told you people something yesterday that you are going, going to talk about. Can you remind me? What's that? Is it stop? About destiny and stars. Yeah. Okay, Abacock, yes. Okay, no, Abacock, Abacock, yes, Abacock. Why, why things are not, why some people delayed until they died with their expectations? Why some people are making it? Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, you can now I thank, I, I, I thank God that you also fully it up you sorry for just uh, I want to just start and I want to start when I start no end though because I go like that no end in my father's eye Akai there are many mansions <laughs> all right all right just hold on small just just briefly briefly I don't listen. I don't. This Bible that you are seeing, anywhere I stand, that is the kind of person you are seeing. That's the time that I prepare the Bible. <laughs> I don't have time to not have the time to prepare the Bible for hours or for minutes. Anywhere I just stand like this, I don't prepare. Anything. I, I look at the atmosphere, then I look at you, whatever thing you tell me, then I begin to use it to preach to your life. 
That is how God has, that how God has given to me. It's a grace on its own. I don't have a special thing that I want to talk to you or prepare at home. No. I come and I begin to look at you and begin to now start a fire down. That is it. So what you want, I will give it to you. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. So I am here to now to attend to somebody's case. So I go to now Abacock 2 3. Everybody just go there. What we discussed yesterday because I promised you people did that one before. Are you there? church when you come to church like this there's somebody to tell you these things about life you begin to enjoy you don't like to leave church again not knowing that all the things that what we are now doing all the things that we are now passing through in life why people are poor why people are just struggling for in vain not knowing say they're able to do some certain things in life they are not following them up that's why they all pray in vain the bible says some people prayed in vain we pray just every kind of prayers we just supposed to now supposed to do some certain things in order to receive this blessing but we don't pray them in vain so coming to church is not the issue giving your life to christ what are the benefits you now come and now go now go now start go and start a walk somewhere so going to america something made you to go to america something make you go to europe what make you to go to europe is gain so now you have God, you have entered into the body of Christ. What is your gain? Not giving your life to Christ is the issue. What have you gained? Not coming to church is the issue. What have you gained? The body of Christ, there is honey. The honey is too sweet, sweeter than any other thing. If you know this, these things I'm talking about, then you begin to follow them up. You begin to enjoy the house of God. Do you know that some people are coming to the house of God in pain and return in pain? Every year, every month but those that who know those things and the spiritual things and follow them inside the body of christ they don't know what is called pains when the pains comes like this the pains within a short time the pain goes yes. because pain must come you cannot dodge it pain must come pain whether you like it or not you cannot dodge it as you cannot dodge your sleep in the night hours so that is how life is so brethren i want to just go straight to the abacock to three display it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry go back again for the vision is yet for an appointed time but 
yet at the end it shall speak and not lies okay stop there the vision is for an appointed time there's a vision for everybody it's for an appointed time if you don't play your card well it will end up the way that wish you played it it will not lies the way you play your card the way you go about god jesus in the body of christ that will end up with you yes, sir. are you hearing me yeah, you, sir. that place is telling you the way you started your game you know the lie you will face challenges and the way you now key yourself into christ that what good to now result at the end will come whether you like it or not that thing shall never ever pass by galatians 6 7 now says that whatever thing you reap that what a man sweat so whatever thing you sow it that what you're going to reap so those things are now what is now that place is talking about there are many of us here in life There are some people in we started life challenges just come that challenge refuse to leave that person old age and the person die with the challenge there are some people in life when the challenge comes the challenge without wasting time the challenge goes then they go for another challenge yes. we call it problems problems inside the problems that we are facing there are problems that which we are now we call a challenge that challenge refuse to go until the problem will not follow the person dies there's a way out for you to every one of us or for us to fast forward our destinies to our in order to overcome that challenge and go to another one challenge is a continuous exercise you, papa. am i hearing somebody papa, we hear you, sir. the bible says in the book of job job 14 verse 1 read it on you know that challenge is an exercise that which you cannot run away from it display it the Bible says in the book of Job 14 verse 1, it says, Man that is born of a woman is of what? Days. Few days. And what? Full of trouble. So where, where do you want that trouble to go? That trouble is talking about every one of us. So those got to, challenge is a trouble. So now, when you now have this challenge in life, you have to now go to Christ. If you go to idol, they will now, after they will deceive you, devil is a deceiver in the Bible, to this day is a deceiver. They will deceive you, want to deceive somebody, you will make something to now, to now, to now make the person brain, to now scatter. Then after, the person will realize, say, ah, they deceived me. You cannot go to devil and now ask of what is called herbalist and go empty handed. Abalists have no free gift offered to mankind. Always. Always they now deceive you and give you some sort of flatten your eyes to show you like this, then they will now go and take it. Time is 10. They will not take it from you. If you now take a herbalist, now you're not worshiping uh, 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 the idol, or you go to a native doctor. Many of us, though, they have gone, we have gone to native doctors some time ago, and this thing unknown to us, we have come to Christ this day. And coming to Christ this day in order to wash away those things. Then we come to Christ. There are some certain things we call, we call deliverance. We also enter into deliverance in order to now scatter. Then there are something we call prayer. The prayer section of deliverance. Prayer section of deliverance. When you are praying with the deliverance prayers like this, then the thing just go. It's like a label. You enter into a, a, a herbalist hall and the herbalist will now see you. Stand up. You will now see you. Then you will now start carrying like this and... At the time you now talk a native shock here, or you tell you to give you something to go spiritually, something like this, you now put it to you. So anything is like a label he has given to you as a matter. When anywhere you go, then this thing is going to expire one day. As it's now going, 
it takes a long time to expire praise the lord Hallelujah. if you don't know how to go about it this thing is not not good to now fade out until it will follow you to the your mother or father's very ground so because you have gone to this one anytime you go anytime the wishes are with that they look at you they see it they will not talk that this place is one of the candidates that who have gone to social place there are some people here when you look at them they, they have gone one one abalis two abalis three abalis four abalis all of them are max and the churches that we have gone to the praise that cleans some of them one two three delete them delete them delete delete them some of them are, is one that remaining praise the lord Hallelujah. immediately those ones as they delete so also the miracles also take place in the life of somebody so many of us we don't know all those things then then we go that native shock that why are they giving to us or putting our forehead why are we using oil why are they putting on us our, our hands or something that which is called not native job they now represent something right in their altars they give it to you they're saying that this is one of our candidates so unknown to you you just go and keep it somebody say you go you go okay the idol just carry the, the, the worshiper the demon uh, the native doctor just said you say, go and I'll keep this in, in your house so so, so things are going to happen then you not unknown to you you don't go and keep you kept it in your home and then you keep it in your own not knowing that that moment at times it will not work at all at times it will just work for a few days then trouble will start when the trouble starts no nobody can stop it you would not like to go back to that place again one you may be saying so what i'm telling you jesus said anything that he has given to you he will not add any sorrow yesterday god's promises has no sorrow yes. but devil's promises sorrows follows john tented every day i've been telling you this one satan the work of satan to kill to destroy and to what to steal so no witchcraft in your family say i am a white witch i am a no white witch no anywhere white witch anybody that who wrote white witch your white witch say i i don't kill you i don't kill you let me tell you they are deceivers only what they they, they are the assignment that given to them that who do, do not kill they are more than killers why somebody that who is now tempted tempted your destiny and now take your destiny introduce your destiny and now act your destiny they act your destiny and they use every nonsense things about uh, the COVID in order to now uh, set upon your life then you now come and now begin to suffer on earth on this world walking in vain and moving in vain have you have you never killed me it's worse than it's better for the person to die than moving oh you are not hearing me all of them anyone no one say i'm a white witch which white witch white witch let me tell you the meaning of white witch white witch are people that who have knowledge in order to produce this microphone that's called white witch I tell you, Papa. technology thank you god bless you in order to not do this thing this is called knowledge it's a work of knowledge our own black people they are own to destroy and to kill praise master jesus hallelujah yes even in the white in the white kingdom of white they also we have white wings and black wings so they, they also have destroyers and also killers there they are also there in everywhere but their own they use the knowledge in order to invent things the cars microphones speakers cameras all what we are this all of these clothes the white is work of white wish white wish is other that is not somebody it's a knowledge or only uh, nigerian people and black people call him white wish there's no white wish written anywhere which is a wish some they drink blood then some to destroy the two that they exist in to destroy man's when you now i supposed to now build a house then i am not i don't have a house then i'm in a rental apartment the landlord is not laughing at me every day he starts taking action money and insulting me with his family have you never killed me so that is how some of them say i'm not a, anybody anybody that says say, i'm a wish but i don't kill you that person is a more than the killer 
Because you have destroyed everything about your destiny. Anywhere you go, the people just begin to block you, block you, block you, block you. But I've not come into this one. How are you going to now? There are some 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 problems that the enemies the bible says in the book of matthew 13 verse 25 it says that the enemies sleep they they came and saw evil tears and went their ways how they now saw their evil tears the spiritual things control the physical anytime any hour you go to bed the time that you go to bed you must you must have a rest the time that you have a rest that time you your angelic twin brother we just leave your body when your angelic twin brother there is a wall like this that we are exi that existing in the time of bed hours the rest hours whether the night hours whether a day time that you rest anytime you rest you close your eyes your spiritual eyes will open but the kind of person you are am i talking to somebody i'm talking to us mama. your spiritual eyes will open in the kind of person you are a man that will have always negative dream always there is no good thing about going on in a person's life a man that will always see negative 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 dreams there is nothing good around the person don't be deceived that is the kind of person you are not the, you are the person that will go to now see yourself again let you close your eyes like this your second eye the third eye become open there's two one then the other one the spiritual is another one we call it third eye in the spiritual realm now once it opens what's going to happen then you will now see how they are the enemies have done to you then how weakness you have now only you you are more than all of us we are prophetess and prophets praise the lord that's why the bible says in the book of joel joel says the young ones they're going to now they receive vision and prophesy and the elders what they dream dreams praise the lord so the senior one is dream the dream but before prophecy so anything that is about to happen to every man it must happen to you spiritually before this day only you that don't have the right or don't have the knowledge to interpret it now uh, some days ago some dreams that we dreamt some years ago that manifest today at times god now repeated that dream to give you as a warning that this is what is going to happen to you the enemies have taken your so so so, so. now the bible also says in the book of luke 10 19 he said that he has given you power to stand and clear, clear all those things that they have, the enemies have done against you. But we don't go about it. I only, only, only one thing that I hate in this life, only one thing I hate that in perfect hatred is my flesh. Your flesh. Everyone touch your skin. I hate it. Someone say, I hate my flesh. I hate my flesh. Because of your flesh, many things are going around you. Let me tell you, because of this. The time for you to pray, God shown you pray about this thing, but the flesh said, Don't pray. Oh my God, you are not hearing what I hear. First Thessalonians 5 17 says that when you pray, you pray without ceasing. You may be seated, you may be seated. I know that this is touching. Are we hearing? Are we hearing? After my teaching and my preaching. <laughs> You begin to now enter into you know where the level you are you will never ever afraid of anything that's going on in your life anymore yes daddy anything that happening in your life for a purpose are you enemy for a purpose but you also have the time to end it all are you enemy yes you have to now remember the time in order this flesh it fears every flesh nobody who say i'd like to uh, who, who say uh, if I if I come I want to die uh, uh, let them kill me no no the people that will commit suicide today there is a demon that also strengthens them there's something that strengthens the flesh in order to do accordingly that the, what they're not supposed to do that is what happened to Jesus Christ when Jesus Christ the flesh deceived him in order to not pray he was praying the blood came out from his body and the Lord said he said this cup should pass him by uh, he was praying and praying when God knew that the flesh deceived him he sent angel in order to strengthen him yes, so man. also man also you and I any time that we want to do wicked things the devil now send devil oh, yes. in order to now wicked our body the flesh deceive the flesh to commit suicide it strengthen your flesh you may be sitting send something Baba. 
Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Something, the person that who commits suicide today, don't like to commit suicide. No, 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 no. There is something called devil, spirits, devil, we call satanic or fallen angels that enter into the person to act those nonsense acts called uh, suicide bumping and all those things. He has given us power. Some in very common of us said committed the drinking, uh, um, uh, uh, how do they call it? Snappers and all snappers and they die or commit suicide. The person, there's a spirit that entered into the person already. That if you die, nothing will happen. Strengthen him or strengthen her to do. An ordinary person like you, will you go and die? Uh -huh. Because the spirit has not entered you. It's a prayer that you need to pray for yourself and your children. Father, every spirit that I've got to frustrate my life, don't come to me. It's a prayer point. That you also need to pray because anything about you, the thing that you are doing that is wrong in the body of Christ, is a spirit of frustration. It's an angel, devil, devilish or fallen angel that the enemies have sent to you yes, to strengthen you to do that thing. Am I talking to someone? You are talking to us, Baba. I'm talking about your flesh. Your flesh. Our flesh is wicked. Anything that we are doing, this flesh. This flesh, one thing that the flesh, our flesh do it, does. I want to tell you again. Anytime now you see yourself in a dream that something terrible happened to you in a dream, you say, Wake, you are afraid. You now look at it and dream. The flesh don't deceive you because the flesh is weak. Number one, weak to do fasting and praying. As far as you back it up with fasting and prayer, mercy must come. Yes, sir. But you can never in the name of Jesus. I cover this dream with the blood of Jesus. I cover this with the blood of Jesus. Then you can't begin to now do whatever thing. Whereas the enemies have come and sold evil tears. And your destruction, the way you destroy it. Let me tell you something I wish you need to destroy. How how to destroy these things. I'll come about how to move forward. That's the topic where we are. Why our 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 expectations are long. Live long for us not to have them. I'll come back to that one. Abacock to dream. I'll come back to that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Any man, they have given you power. This is a battle that between you and devil. Every one of us. Don't expect everybody in your life and be being around you to begin to be your praises. Everybody around you is a suspect. I tell you, Papa. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Suspect. Only 12 in the body of Christ are the, the two of them that given problem to Jesus Christ. What about the people that who are now carrying millions of people here? Somebody say, ah, Jeremiah, be careful. Oh. Some people around you, be careful. Oh. I said, God is in control. Yes. Careful for what? I have nothing to careful about it. Because I cannot do it alone. It is only God that can do it. Praise Master Jesus. Every fight that I was going on in anywhere, it is God that taking God. Every man that you are now facing attack at the end, the result at the end matters. Not to attack the person is the issue. What happened at the end matters. The end of the story, and then when you take it to Nigerian film and also American films and Chinese films, the end, we know who is boss and who is actor. So the way you play your games are now show up at the end. Don't give up in life. Shout out. Oh, I am like this. I, uh, I am frustrated. I am like this. Look for somewhere that will talk about spiritual things in order for you to know about it. God has already given you the grace in order to now deal with these people, but you don't know how to go about it. Now we have James control and also say it. He said, ye pray amiss. Because you've taken the loss upon, the things upon yourself. That you want this thing must be like this. No, it is the spirit that controls Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Not by power, not by mind, but the power of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Brethren, I want to now tell you people that in, in, in life, I am here to now teach you people, you are, you are coming to this place, why we are now going back, why things are not going well with us. Is it not the Bible says that go and multiply? Yes, and what are we now multiplying? No, not only the multiply, the word has given to us, we have to assist the word. Praise Master Jesus. We have to seize the word of God with our flesh. And the flesh will deceive you. He said, I am the one that will assist you, but I will deceive you. 
So many of us being deceived by the flesh. Praise Master Jesus. Many a time you also talk about yourself. I am not telling you people to don't always go and pray. The Bible says that Jesus Christ was praying. He was praying and praying. He was praying. The time of the hour has come. He went to now Peter, John. All the disciples were sleeping. All of them were sleeping. He said, you people are sleeping for so long. Sleeping for so long. That means there are times that you need to pray. The time that when you now you see a negative dream, instead of you to now, in that moment to now, take it away. Let me tell you something. It's better for something to now, when something stains your, 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 your white shirt. Huh? It's better for you to now and, uh, and you wash it instant at that moment than to keep it until it dries. That's how many people fail. When we now, now have a negative dream in our time of when we had a dream, we now keep it like this. We now dream. We keep it first day. Mm -mm, no prayers. The, 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 your flesh don't begin to deceive you from day and night. Gee, uh, two months. You say, I dreamt one dream more. I am not okay with the dream. Then you are not talking about the dream. You are telling people about the dream, but you are not going towards, you don't carry the bleach, the spiritual zik, in order to now to wash it away. But the power, the zik is in your hand. Are you am I talking to somebody? You are talking to us about dreams is like a stain. Dream is like a stain. I will touch some areas everywhere tan, 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 before we will go because I like to talk because these things I can talk these things in two years it cannot be ending praise master Jesus Hallelujah. dream is like a stain when they come they will not come the Bible says they come and they came and saw evil tears and go their way what they do they now come and now give that paint that this is a mark so 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 the dates and everything they are speaking their evil word and they mark it when they mark it like this then that day when the time comes the person now begins to now face the same thing that given to the person that man that given because everybody different marks some people the same mark that given to be begin to see then you have the power to now stop this thing many of us we don't go about what god has given to us the power we don't use it we play with it number one we don't know how to go about it how are we going to now use this if we don't know how to go about it so you're coming to this place i am not here to only teach you i am not here only to just come and preach the word of god to you i am here to now show you the deeper things of god so that you will go to now when you go home for your children for yourself and also for your helpers for your loved ones because you can save your brothers and sisters on behalf of them but what i am telling you what i am teaching you here right now here what i'm preaching that's why i come about when somebody you know, anybody that we you are in a sick bed or anybody sick bed don't take tablets and begin to pray prayers there's a prayers there's something that good to work for somewhere before the prayer works am i talking to somebody you are saying something Baba. Not all prayers that can now take away all the some 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 sickness, some secrets that some marks, some deposits, or some sickness that given to us need only prayers. Some needs the support of doctors. Are you are you hearing me? Yeah, you, sir. Some need the support of doctors. The doctors need the, 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 the pharmacists. They will now you go and take tablet before the thing you pray, then the thing begin to work. So any pastor that telling you that I have prayed, I have go and pray and fast and fast, only fasting, is a liar. It's deceiving you. God that who have now created the doctors, giving them the knowledge, is not the foolish God. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. That's why the other day I told you people, it is time for you to people to now choose one. It's time for you people to choose one. The apple babies I'm talking about. It's time for you to choose one. God has given them the knowledge, doctors, in order to go about what's called, uh, this called, uh, yes, IVF. Are you hearing me? God has given them the knowledge to go to IVF. Then God also have his own personality. So it's not left for you, only you to now go. It's choose one. Either IVF I want, you go. Either now God, you can go. So all of them, I am not yet against any IVF. IVF is real. It's real. Are you hearing me? Yes, so I'm not going against anybody's handwork. 
is rape. So it is now, it's left for you to now choose. Praise the Lord. So that's how God is. So I come back again. Anything about God, doctors, hey, it's in the Bible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you now go about the doctors, I go to the balm of Gilead. Yes. The balm of Gilead is a healer. The balm of Gilead, I don't where it is. Are you hearing me? In those days, the things that we were eating before is different from nowadays. So that's why when it wound anybody injured in those days, nobody will now go and now teach them. Because the things they were eating were raw. Were raw. The vitamins are 100%. Nothing to not fertilize or anything. But nowadays, the things that the companies are now doing to us, for us to eat, fertilizers and some, some against our systems, the immune system in our body. So that's why different kind of sickness are coming. Not every day that wishes a wizard. No, the thing that you eat contributes more than any other thing. Mind the food you eat. Mind the food you eat. You cannot eat everything that you see. You're like you go to shop right, you eat A, B, and because you don't can't even go to shop right. You eat everything around shop right. You are looking for trouble. Drink this, drink that, drink this. <laughs> You are looking for, you are looking for trouble. <laughs> are you hearing me? So brethren, there is something that which I want you people to know, to know how about it. The things of God are very, very, it, 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 it's technical. A young woman came to me and I said about three days ago, she came to me and she was fasted for three and a half years. Only fruit. Vegetarian, only fruit that she was taking, she was eating, only fruit. They, they said, she said, the Lord has sent her in order to now come and sow seed for me to lay hand on her so that she will now start her ministry, she will start this thing. And she came. And when I looked at her, the Lord spoke to me again. The Lord spoke to, spoke to her. She said, the Lord spoke to her. The Lord also spoke to me. They said, she bring money, about almost four, 500,000 naira. She brought the money, said, I should come and sow seed. This happened just three days ago. I said, the Lord said, I should give you back your money to you. Take this money back. Go and eat small, small, don't eat money. Begin to change your pattern. If you are really connected to me, my God, the Lord said, anybody that connected to me, do not go for long fasting anymore. No more long fasting. No more long fasting. You may be sitting. I have fasted for 21 days. No food, no water. As Daniel do. I hear me. I fasted for 21 good days. After 21 days, then I came up. The Lord said, go for 10 days dry. Another 10 days dry. Another 10 days dry. Another 10 days. The 40 days I complete different 10, 10 days. That when I complete. When I complete, I don't know that I will become like this in life. Mm -mm. My body will come back. Anybody see me, they've done. All my friends, they'll mock at me. And when they mock, anyone mock at me, the Lord opened my eyes to see the vision of the person. Then I prophesied to the person. They submit. I, I prophesied to them. So that how what when I take start, I, I used to start my life. And uh, yeah, I am. The Lord warned me. He says, don't go and now take a long anybody that who is under your platform who loves you. That following you don't go i don't allow them to go for fasting for a long fasting because i have done the work for you elijah listen elijah done the work for elisha jesus christ done the work for all the disciples yes father and also moses done the work for joshua and others yes father. oh you're not hearing what i'm hearing we hear you sir right over no need you may be seated. I've done the work for you. So you want to just go. Six or six, okay. Six or five is okay. You remember when I was coming about, when I was at that sign, three, three days dry fasting. Every week. Remember now. A newcomers, but she knows. All of them, they know. But since that day when I come like this, when after the fasting, the Lord says, stop it. No need. Because I have taken the course by myself. I enemy. So that is it. So brethren, today, I thank God for every one of you that are here. 
Now, life is something that wish every one of us. You don't want, every, any, every one of us don't want to now be in one spot until we die. No. There are things that you need to do. Listen to your, the man that will carry the microphone in the church. The man that will carry the microphone is going to tell you what to do. We have anointing. We have different kind of anointings. Anointed pass, anointing grace, pass grace. And also, you cannot take everybody here to compare. You say you are equal. You cannot. You cannot look at the trees here. You cannot take them say all, of, all the trees are equal. No. It's a capital. No. That how spiritual things are. However the church you may be, however you practice the person, either you go higher than the person or you go lower than the person. Simple. So today, many of us that come into this place, this is the first time I've seen me. I talk about a lot of things about the firmament. The firmament form, the means the heavens. I talk about these things and also I talk, I taught these spiritual things in order people to succeed. There is a time for you to suffer. But don't allow that suffering for you to be a long time suffering. How are you going to now overcome this suffering? I come to now to the point of the point. You come, you listen. The pastor that will carry that, the microphone. What is the thing that is going to say next? Because every mood has different mo movements and also different blessings, different attacks. Oh yes. However you now dodge attack, it must come. If you like, go and lock inside your room. I don't want somebody to attack me. One day you will come outside. They will attack you. That's life. So the anything that your coverage we are talking about is Jesus Christ. How to, how to use it, the name Jesus matters a lot. How do you use it? I come to that one. The pattern to use it. Uh, my God. <laughs> the name is just there. I was telling you people about this name called the water as an example. You go to the water side of the well and you're going to face the water. It's left for the person that will carry the buckets to his own house, his own room, or bathroom, or his own kitchen to use the water. It's left for you to know how to apply this water. Are you going to use it for? Is it going to use it for cooking, to cook, or to bath, or to wash your clothes? It's left for you. That is how the body. You want to want to throw it away. The water cannot just tell you, say, don't throw me away. I am here. That's water is God. Jesus Christ is a living water. Yes, Papa. So you have first it. You already faced the water now. You come to Christ. It's not left for you. How to now to go about this name? How are you going to now use the name to now favor you? Are you going to use the name just ordinary? Or you want to use the name with the backup of spiritual things in order to fast forward you to your next level? It's left for you. Nobody. It's a, it's, it's a free. This is called a free exercise. A free exercise. That you, every one of you that will practice. Depends how you use the name Jesus that it works for you. That's why the sons of Scephas, the way they use the name Jesus, the enemies did not hear. The mad people they did not hear, and they tore all their clothes. And they now told them that it is Paul we know, Jesus we know. Who are you? Because they know it's not the same Jesus they call. And the, the thing did not work for them. So not don't don't be but don't be deceived. That you call, hey, I'm going to church. Jesus, it, work, it cannot work for many people because they don't know how to place it, how to go about it. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, that is right, Papa. That's why the Bible says Moses came. And when Moses came, and Moses was, was moving, and all the crowd they said, Moses, what is next? Do you have a prophet in Israel? You need somebody to be heading you. All the pastors that who are heading their, their people, that they hear from God. What God told them, that's what it's telling the members. The what you now, you followed what God told you. And then you now, uh, you, you now, now, you know, show to your members. that what make your ministry also to move forward. I tell you, Papa. If your members succeed, they will go and tell others. Yes, Papa. 
That is the place. Oh, yes. Oh, you're not hearing what I hear. You may be sitting. Am I talking to somebody? You are talking to us, sir. You cannot just come to the you cannot just come to this wall and begin the now because that, that uh, you are, have you have, I, have you never seen some people are just saying uh okay let's easy pastors pastors are putting on the white collar and also black shirts in those days till this day and they now begin to now say we are I am a pastor carry the Bible when they carry the Bible like this they carry the Bible well and preaching very holy but nothing to show up even to buy microphone they cannot buy microphone why they begged it tomorrow, nothing. That's why many people in the villages are the now the underrating the pastors and the pastors. Pastors are not poor people. Pastors are rich people. Jesus said, as you follow me, we are rich. We are from the rich family. Why the pastors are like that? Because they don't know about how to use the name called Jesus. That's why they are poor. Not their mistake. It is ignorance. Am I talking to somebody? You are talking to us, Papa. Bring it on, sir. Let me tell you something about war. Nobody, every one of you, I myself, I passed through attacks. The president passed through attacks. Nobody on earth that breathes in and breathes out shall, shall never ever pass through attacks. Attack is waiting for everybody. But we, there's a time, a limit for the attackers to use in order to attack you. There's a time limit. If you know your way, that time limit comes. It will not take a long time. It will not take one year. You can now, you can also talk to God. God, I don't want this attack to reach one year. Get to one year. I want it to be destroyed. Then that thing will stop. Anything that will say attacking them, attacking them, attack me. You will not pass one year. I'm going to stop them because that is how God told me. And we are the spiritual people. We are the people that will control the spiritual. Are you hearing me? Jesus Christ is spiritual. He always talk about the spiritual things. You cannot just come and now begin to now say, ah, yes, they plan Jesus Christ. They don't plan it for one year. They plan it and the thing that does manifest on that one year and they get the result as a victory. Yes. That is God for you. Yes. So whosoever that you are now passing through any attack, there's a limit for those people. That way I'm talking about Abacock 2-3. Are you hearing me? Yes, there's a limit. The people to attack you. Whatever pass, a challenge you are passing through, there's a limit. Except you don't know Christ. Keep on. Endure it. Just bear it for it's just a while. After some time, you come to church, come to Christ, follow the weather, follow the things of the platform of Christ. Then you succeed. Before you know, that thing will not turn to testimony. Am I talking to somebody there? You are communicating with us. Father. So everything that listen, let me tell you something. I come back to, 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 to the house of God, and those that who are living or, or those are who are around us are living us for 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 for, for God. People that who have died for God, yes. Anybody can die today. Nobody that who will say I cannot die. But remember one thing that what Jesus Christ is written. In. If Christ can die at that early age, what about you? So anybody, not everybody that made in order for now, God created us in order to die at the age of like Medusalam. It's a big lie. Mary Salam is that is his lifestyle. Another one that's called uh, uh, old age of those in days of Noah and the rest. That is their years. So every face that you are seeing, every man that who dies in your family around you, because of flesh, it pains flesh. But remember, only one thing that you are going to now look onto when somebody around you that dies, that it will not pain you. That is called, you go straight to the Bible called King David. David's sons were sick. Oh, am, am I? Am I? Am I? <laughs> am I talking to somebody? Yes, I I talk about, I, I have to touch some areas because there are so many. That's why I came late, but I have to also manage the time for you. So, King David's son was sick. Was sick as a man of God. He entered into fasting for good three days no food no water crying unto the lord and when this man that is named called david david anything david says god honored it because is this man do everything in order to please god and god said this is the man that after my heart this is just a baby and this baby just came and died and that's how king david you know because he's a spiritual person 
he just woke up. Bloody now woke up. Okay, he said, Come on, servant, prepare something. Let me just eat and go to church. Now, how the people now who don't understand spiritual things are the servant, they ask me, Ah, uh -uh, the baby died. You went to now bathroom, you have a bath and you comb your head. Why? He said, Now there's a place we call the other side of God. It is only Him that will go to Him. No matter of cry from the flesh cannot bring it back. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. I want to now open your eyes and your ears again to, to, know, to notice this thing. How? What David says, the people that who have died, the other side, we see them in our dreams. Yes or no? That's the place that we are going after a year. Am I talking? <laughs> You may be see that. You may be see that. You, see that. you come to this world. There is a place we call another place called heaven. Are you enemy? The people that will die. That is the assignment that God has given to them. If God did not allow it, it will not happen. So, if anybody that will, oh my God, a great man of God called our senior and senior prophet T.B. Joshua. Those people, we're not supposed to die like that. But that is the will of God. Oh, you're not hearing me. I tell you, sir. Death is something that's very close to every one of us. When you close your eyes, you begin to experience what is called death. Anytime you go to bed, that dream you are seeing, that is the other side that God is telling you. You cannot meet the person here. David said, you cannot meet them again. It is only we. When you close your eyes, your spiritual man does meet them. You meet them, then you begin to not discuss with them as normal as usual. That's the place that we are going. Let me tell you. That's an assignment, every one of us that now be on this earth. So, when death come like this, just begin to remember this word. That after a year, you also going to go to that place. One. Number two, it's an assignment. If God don't want it before. Mm -mm. That's why Jesus Christ said that, let the will of God take place. Because he knew that prayers cannot do it. That is his assignment. Oh, you're not hearing me. We hear you, Baba. That is his assignment. So anybody that died in my family as a baby, as an old, give glory to God. Romans 8 28 says that everything worketh for good for those who believe in Christ. Am I hearing you? Hear you Baba. Oh my God. Listen, 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 brethren. So anything like a church, you may be seated. I come to the church, the same thing happening in the businessmen. Your, your office, your, where you are selling, then churches. Don't expect the people that who started the ministry with you to end you up with you. There are few people, few of them. Don't expect only one customer. Every day that customer to come to your, your, to, to your shop to buy something. Expect new customers. Yes, that is. That's where Jesus Christ said, if the stones refuse to praise me. I will now raise the dust to praise him. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm hearing. <laughs> it happened to you. It touched you. It touched you. Very well, Daddy. Very well. You, very well. <laughs> you may be seated. God bless you. God bless you. Then your members are begin to leave you, but you begin to cry. Hey, you begin to go and beg him. Say, oh, but I beg now. You go and visit him. Uh, and you are the one that buying the shares. So about this thing. The man is going, or the woman is going to take an excuse. He said, This is the, what they told me about you. Oh, this is what your church is doing. Oh, this is what they are doing. The person will not take this. Why? The person saying that one begin to know it's a contract. The person contract has closed. Expect more. The ones God is going to build for you is going to now more than the, the one that which that you are you have. And let me tell you something that's very important to you. When you look at trees today, take it to compare yourself. A tree to your ministry and your blessing. A tree never expects the leaves that started with him to the end. That is your members and your ministry. I tell you that right on, sir. <laughs> Love <of me. laughs> Am I talking to you? <laughs> you are talking to me, 
You are expecting only one members, uh, only one more members in your gym. Uh, hey. You don't want other person. Let me tell you, a water that will not go down. You tell you face a water in your house and you cannot use water, it's not used at the same. No other water you will not come in. The water will not go out. That's life for every one of us. So the water, as the water goes down, God refill it. Remember, if the stones refuse to praise Jesus, he will bring to us another people. Some time ago, I was in the messy land and I was at the messy land. Somebody wanted to now help me, my helper. We call it my helper. My helper came in order to now to help me out. Which you are aware, which some of us are aware here. The pastors that we started with me, they are here. So, when they now this thing, they started this thing on the, uh, my television because of the crowd was coming every day. The people now go and now this is my helper. He's the one that who bought my first car there. He's the one that who bought my mattress, my first car, my white car there. My helper. Something happened. He said he's going to pay me to just uh, to Israel in order to experience the Israel, the angelic war, the Israelites. So I now just, just go and I was very happy in order to receive and he said he's going to give me dollars what is called one thousand dollars at that time two thousand and nine so i was just expecting this one in order to not make it down there i look at it and what am i going to do so i, I said I'm very i was very happy this man was the person that was helping me television no? i was expecting him and this man was a billionaire he's a billionaire and this man they just want to now by all means to know in order to now to build they said he's going to build a church for me. He's the one that who bought a big tent at that at uh, Messi Land. He's the one that who bought more than five, six thousand chairs. He's the one. He's the one for everything. Anywhere you want to go, he's the one that surprised me, all my speakers and the rest. Because the man was sick. Something that which happened to him. He wanted they wanted to appetite his leg. Something happened to him. I wanted to appetite his leg. He couldn't walk again. So that's how the man now said, he is going to now, uh, after my prayers for him, then that's how he said, he's going to bless me. That's how the man started blessing me. So, I don't know that these things are now are under contract. Spiritual things are under contract. I don't know for his season. No wonder Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 says, everything that you're seeing is under the platform of season and a time. Yes, Papa. And this man came, and then the man came. The man said, Don't worry, I am going to do everything. I was preparing to go to Israel. I was very happy, but suddenly something just happened. That's how this man just come. One day, um, church, let me tell you about church. You are a pastor, you are a woman of God, anywhere you are watching me. Christians, let me tell you, Christian, our challenges of Christianity, our pastors, somebody called pastor apostle bishop and also women of god prophetess are your problems they are the one that connive with devils as an agent of devil in order because if they come like this direct they will, you will know them so they will go and now influence the devil in order to attack you yes sir. but god is standing for his children in order to overcome all battles in life oh yes starting. am i talking to somebody you are talking to us mama I know some people are listening to me they are also tapping and wherever you are watch your screen you can tap and tap so that is it so something happened the man that said and this man is my life i was expecting him to do everything today i want to tell you people and i want to open your eyes and ears clearly that the things of christendom churches politics the church politics is more than apc and pdp APC and PDP are playing. Yes, sir. Church policies. Don't look at all church. But I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I have to open up to you. Any man of God, any woman of God you have seen is a suspect. Yes. It's a suspect. By their fruit, yes, shall. Don't them. Don't trust them. Don't trust from the enemies in order to enhance your church in order for you to go down but they have they have forgotten that any man that will call by god hey. you are a businesswoman you are a businessman yes. the, your business and your ministry shall never ever go down hey. i'm telling you 
It's just for a trial for some time. After some time, you begin to now receive it. You may be seated. I know that the thing is touching some people. <laughs> You say what? My head they pain me now. Why they pain you? Too much. Yes, Overload grace, don't too much. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? Yes, that is. This man come one day, he said, there's no... Now, I don't know. The former church I was, the people now gathered together. They are the people that would drove me oh. They are the people that would drop me. They said they don't want me. They said I'm using marine power. I am using this power. Uh, they don't know how can someone rise up and walk, walk, and so the blind see. The blind begin to see. People begin to receive your baby. They call carry babies. How? It's not done in this place. Let us tell him to go. That's how they block me. When they block me, all my people that were sponsoring me, they followed me. They were following me. Bomber to bomber. I was very happy buying this one, buying this one, not knowing that the church people back. From back, they go and they met, they met the person that was questioning me. Hey, that boy Grace is too much. We've done a mistake. Carry him back again. So before they've gone back, the Lord spoke to me. Don't go. If you go, you are on your own. And when I, I had this voice, I had this voice. I said, if these people leave me like this, they now came and they started begging me. I said, are all of us together. We said, we are going to one place. Why are you, why are you people doing like this? They said, no. If you don't come, we are leaving you. No five copper. We'll give it to you. I went back to my room and I cried. I started crying. Oh Lord, why me? Three days. I was crying and disturbing. I don't do answer anybody. I said, God, only you that get to answer me. If these people, my cry is this. If this, my helpers will go. Who is the person that going to buy my shoes, my trousers and the church properties? That is a cry. That is a cry. Not knowing that God has a purpose. Let me hear from this one. You will live long, Papa. Hundred, more than hundred years. So that I will hear more. I will benefit more from you. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. You may be seated. They came. It's a story. When I look at it like this, I have nobody to help, nobody to help me, nobody to help me. And all of them, the people that who are now buying these chairs and microphone, not be smaller television generator, they said, one day, they said, if you don't follow us, go back to former church. We are, you are not one of us again. We are not going to give you even five couple. If we're you, how will you feel? And you have nobody as a spiritual father like Jeremiah to help you. Nobody. To teach you about these things. So what happened? I just went to my three days. I cried. And a voice came. The Lord spoke to me. He said, son, what are you going to do? That where the son, the, the, the Lord taught me about contracts. Your members, all members that you have. They are contract, under contracts. Contractors. Then even business people, they are contractors. Your customers are contractors. Don't expect the people that who have a contract with you that always be with you. When the time comes, the person will go. Then when the person goes, he's the one that will provide. Surely the Lord must provide. Oh yes, Papa. Abraham believe. Hey. Oh, you're not hearing me. You may be sitting. You may be sitting. You may be sitting. I am changing everybody as I hear in the voice because we have to put this in your mind and begin to put it in your left hand the last hand begin to know as a wedded ring begin to know when you go when you are, every one of you must come across this you whether you like it or you must come across this am I talking to, you are talking to me Baba. Um, I'm not am I what I'm just making noise or Papa, you are communicating with us sir. Not all the pastors that who started with me are here with me. Yes, sir. Many of them have gone to their places. That is their contract. Today, uh, this young man who become a pastor today, not supposed to be a pastor today. Today, this one will become a pastor today. This one who did not start with me. Only this one that who started with me from prayer warrior. Today she's here. And this one who are also here. And this one is also who started with me from, from clapping hands as a pastor. 
I thought this was just entered just newly. That's life. Because in order to fulfill the prophecy in the boy. Oh yes, Baba. I see you, sir. You may be seated. You may be seated. Brethren, I am to here to tell you people that I'm going to touch. Many people are watching me out there. You need a father like me to, to expose these things to you. Because you are lack of these things. Not coming to the, to the house of God and clap and, blah, 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 and go back. No, that's not the issue. How am I going to manage my life? Am I talking to somebody there? You are talking to me, Papa. So they came and somebody just came and they came. When they came, you know what they have done? They now came and they called me in the midnight. They said, choose one. And the Lord have already told me that this is what you're going to do. All right, tell them that I am the one that will call you. So if you don't want to, uh, don't, I, tell them that you cannot follow anybody. Let it be like this. They now said, nobody, oh, we, are, we repeat this last time midnight nobody going to help you we are leaving you now are you okay yes i left when i left myself and brother fezzi we go and we went to the man on behalf of the church because i never understand spirituality to this level so we got back to one of them who are sponsoring buying all those things i bought the car for me to so the television and said let us go and try whether you go to and we got to that place his office. He now said, Ah, he saw us from a CCTV. He called us. Come, 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 come. We now go in. He said, What are, what happened? I said the church is expanding now. After some days, after some months, expanding now. We don't have television because it's the one that was buying the TVs for the church before. So the church is going like this. So we don't have this thing. Two months later, now he, that we said, he said, if God really called you. He is going to surely provide for you. Not me. I, my five kobo, shall never ever enter into that your church. Five kobo shall never ever enter into that your church. I hold my brother and I hold him and began to cry again. The cry started again. He now told me, he said, calm down, calm down, calm down. The Lord will surely provide. When I look at it and I show these people, the, 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 the promise of the, the Israel trip, everything, they will draw everything. They said they are not going to sponsor me anymore. I said, oh, I was expecting dollar in my life. I never see dollar in my life. Only $1,000 they're supposed to give me. Hey, why I can't take this shot? I, I now come back to my house. My room, I cried. I said, God, you deceived me. I questioned God. I said, God, you deceived Why you deceived me? My people have left. My helpers have left. The Lord spoke a voice he said they are all contractors their contractors have accomplished they have to leave you another ones have to come and take over yes and Allah. build a church oh, yes worry not yes. go when time comes open your mouth and expose these things to my children so that let all of them begin to now follow the footsteps after they are falling you may be seated amen and i just begin to now i just wipe away my tears and I went he said go to the church and begin to now begin to start and begin to prophesy to them that from now people will go to sponsor you to Israel brethren I went to the church I when I look at the people slippers not before this can find fine shoes on I get slippers that they have ah I said no how can this kind of people will sponsor me to Israel and I sent for the word I said from now on it will not pass too much People will be the sponsor this man that sent here to Israel. Everybody say, Amen. And I look at them and say, What are they saying? Amen. I just say it too. I say, Amen. Not knowing that the word that comes out from my mouth, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 18, 19, 21. 19, 21, it says that the death and life is in the power of the tongue. Immediately I send it like that. That's how God trusts people. The second month, people began to call me, send me an account number. And when the account number entered, it was just four. I saw one, sorry, one, this, no, 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 1.5 million. I think it's in a 1,500. The second time, another person also, or the same week, the other person said again, it was called 2,500. Ah, oh, your prayers, uh, I uh, thank God I'm one of the person I want to sponsor you to usually, you know, past two months. Oh, this is the second month we are. Thank God, oh, I have sent in here to check your account. I said, 
2,500. No, no, that 2.5 million. I swear that the small time that is same with they are, they are calling me. They will call me the five 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 thousand. They send me five point five five million naira. People sent it to me. Brethren, because of that, I myself and my wife will have a big problem in the house. They said this is a million so. I said, you did not go to school. Not knowing that I am the one that did not go to school. <laughs> so that's how what happened. This the money that I calculated that very month is was 15.5 million naira. At that time, 15,500. So that the bank manager was calling me without cease. I said, bank manager calling me, calling me, oh, oh God, oh God, oh, bank manager called me, oh God. Not knowing that money were dropping into my account without no end. Power. So that how the things were just going down. The bank manager said, ah, when am I going to come and see you? When? Bank manager want to come and see me. I said, Bank manager, I, 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 I'm on a program. Oh, oh please, please, even even uh, what, five minutes, I want to just see you. I, go, oh. I said, Bank manager. And uh, my wife said, she said, on the, they said the, the one point, the one point five and the two point five. She said, this is one point five. I, I said, you don't know. So all the other ones are entering. I did not tell her again because if I tell her, she will just tell the same thing again. Very serious matter. So that way I started making my millions. So that's how I started making my millions. So what happened? I was just like that, and that's how God just started with me. My, I just called bank manager. He wanted to now just come and see me. I said, Madam, bank manager said he want to come and see me. Let me have a time with him. Okay, let us wait for him. He came with his people with their red tie. UBA, Janet Bank. The same day, two of them came because they are putting here. They are putting there. UBA first came. UBA said, Oga, Oga, we have food here. I said, which kind of food? I'm not give you money now. Oga, okay. what did your account? You don't understand. We want to now boost your account. I said, boost my account. Which kind of boost? You want to boost my account. So now they come to see. The minute as we were sitting down, Zenit Bank came. What? Zenit Bank said, come. Okay, enter. All of the same. A small parlor. The minute they listen. I said, Zenit Bank, I said, it's open discussion. We can go ahead. They said, no, no, I'm not be secret discussion. Let's go. So from there, they know that they're all banks. So the other people now, they say, oh, yeah, I'm not going to talk. They say, your account, we have 7.5 million. Huh? 7 point what? Because I, I, I am with my wife. I don't want her to laugh at me. Now say, how much? 7.5. Now go to and say, wait, 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 wait. How much? She got to look at me. She began to laugh. I said, wait, 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 wait. I want to jump, but no way. Because the people there, if I jump, they will laugh at me. Because I was, I'm, I'm the geo of the ministry. If I jump, they will say, this man is a foolish man. I've never seen before. Now I can say, hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. They said, how much? He said, 7.5. They inside the account. I said, ah, 7.5, eh? Eh, eh 7.5. And my, 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 my heart, it doesn't jump. My heart on a job more than 100 times. I said, if these people come up for this place, eh, this 7.5, eh, I will jump away. So from there, I now ask the Zenit Bank, Zenit, eh, why are you people, they, they, they say, you are going to see me, say, you want to talk about my account. Eh? I must really in my account, in their present. They also said, 7.6 million. I said, eh, eh, what? 7.6 million. That's why me, I don't faint small. I don't faint small. My, my, my wife, my wife, my wife, is just, is just, <laughs> she just laugh at me. I said, calm down. Yo. I just speak the job. Bring you, bring you, bring you. I, I speak my language. I said, bring you, bring you. I said, quiet. Oh. Bring you. If you do one kind here, oh, father, you. Let me oppose him. Come on. My God, time is not on my side. So that's how I started make my money. But I want to just finish everything for you, but just part, just a little. But it cannot be because this one, this story has part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. One day, you may be seated. One day, as I was traveling, I just entered into my private jet, my first private jet. I'm going to enter into the private jet. In Benin, that time, 
Wari Airport was under construction. So I just landed in Benin with uh, this my pastor. He was also with me as we were just coming down. With my... I saw that man, my helper. He was about to go. He was about to travel. He now saw me. He saw me. He said, hey, prophet. Prophet Jeremiah, I was told. Now you are making it. You made it. I told you. Remember that my word. I told you. If God really call you, you will make it. I said, yes. Yeah, I am. Oh, he embraced me. I was told. I was told. I was told. Uh, I now asked him, where are you going? He said, he is going to Abuja. I said, okay. That's my private jet. It can take you. It can take you. It can take you to Abuja. Then it will not pack to. They will not pack right in Lagos. So you can take you to Abuja. Then from Abuja, then they will can now take this in. Can I just take you a lift? He now look at me. He said, wait first. <laughs> They did shock. They did shock. If it were you, it will not shock you. I prophesy to somebody. I receive anywhere they abandon you because of your progress. God is going to now have a way for you. The people that will abandon you, they will celebrate with you without wasting time. I prophesy to those that who are watching me anywhere they abandon you the people will going to celebrate with you without wasting time without taking a long time they will celebrate with you let God begin to do something in your life for you to succeed in life in the name of Jesus I prophesy to businessmen I prophesy to contractors I prophesy to businesswomen I prophesy to business girls I prophesy to those people who are handicapped who have no job I prophesy to pastors and women of God I prophesy to all men of God I prophesy to everybody politicians I prophesy to civil servants whatever thing that happened to me in the beginning when I was have no hope before from today I prophesy to you any place that you have no hope from today from today the word of God is power the word of God is life I send for the word of God whatever you are listening to me whatever you are saying I receive whatever you say I am man I prophesy to you the people that who were dealing with you before who were cautioning your life from today they will celebrate with you without wasting time without taking a long time you will become an history you will become a testimony you will become a testimony to people around you the people in your city the people in your state people in your country people in the world you will become a testimony even yourself you will be surprised you will bring the third testimony this testimony I am sharing you will bring the share to others people to believe God that there is God as you connect to the God of Jeremiah I prophesy to you you shall not suffer again you shall not be sick be healed your career will go higher higher your career cannot be broken your career cannot be forgotten in the name of Jesus receive your position that you have never enjoyed before that your share that your share that your share that I'm about to pray on on Sunday and Sunday I prophesy to him 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 I prophesy to them I prophesy to him I prophesy to your income to your talent what God has given to you to what the God Almighty of Israel has given to you to your memory for your brain let God surprise you let God surprise you in this month in this month the Lord will surprise you the Lord will connect you to those who are going to favor you in the name of Jesus I hear my counsel every negative dream every challenge you have been passing through I hear my counsel in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I hear my counsel every attack that you have been passing through every sorrow that you have been passing through in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Somebody say, I received three times. I receive. I receive. I receive. Brethren, when as far as you are breathing, 
Look for the places that where you're going to now. God is going to change your life. Thank God. Your knowing me is not by mystic. Knowing me is not by accident. It's by the power of Holy Spirit. I pray for somebody. The Lord God of Jeremiah is going to bless you. The Lord God of Jeremiah is going to bless you. The Lord God of Jeremiah is going to favor you. Every cobweb spirit they used to now cover your face. Those are who are watching me in Europe, in America, in Asia, in Africa, wherever you are watching me. As you are tapping from wherever place you are tapping from, your story, I prophesy to you, it will become a testimony to millions. Let God give you a testimony that only you and your community and your country shall not share alone. Let other countries will share with you a testimony. In the name of Jesus. That cobweb spirit in your body, on your face, it casts fire now. Where your helpers hate you for no reason, from now on, let them begin to welcome you back. You shall not die. Accident be cancelled. Where the plan evil against you, against mercy city Jesus. let there shall be no peace let them make mistake every day Amen. and let there be crisis Amen. in the name of the father Amen. son Amen. and of the holy spirit Amen. in jesus name i pray amen. someone say amen. Amen. amen amen let me tell you why you are standing let me tell you something as you are now here moving forward in life now without wasting time listening and following instructions of the prophet Moses they asked Moses Moses what next what next Moses what next? the Israelites were asking him so those are the things that you need to know because you are you, you have a gift God has given to you that the prophet is also have his gift God has given to me so when you are not making it in this in this generation as you are believer of Christ and following Jeremiah it's a challenge of Jeremiah so that's why we are now going to now do everything by all means for you to make it praise the lord praise master jesus so by all means so that the challenges that you have been passing through to push you because enough is enough it's too long the challenges is too they are too long so when you come to people like jeremiah then we now begin to now pray force you push you forward you fast forward you to your miracles praise the lord prophets they are sent to fast forward a man to their miracles that was why in israel three and a half years there was no rain no rain it was a pastor a prophet an apostle a great man of god called elijah he is the one that will break the yoke he fast forward the whole country to receive the glory of god so prophets are made in order to fast forward you to receive your blessings so you need somebody that who can fast forward your destiny to your destiny oh, yes. am i talking to somebody you are talking to me, sir. the bible says the same elisha elisha was after his father elijah gone jericho was in one place stagnant and they look for somebody to fast forward them to their miracles and that how their position of their position their position was taken by the powers of darkness in the land so they went to now met him when they met him then they met him they, you know what happened after they met him they now said we need you to come to our aid and the, the bible said they were suffering you know what is that done it was instruction it's a what instruction only do this give me salt give me what is called water and he brought them together are you enemy and he now begin to sp he spoke the word he began to speak the word when he spoke the word that's how the land everywhere changed automatically he fast forwarded them to their miracles prophets they are made to fast forward you to overcome to that abacock two tree that you are talking is made for prophet and pastors and apostles i hear me pastors that call prophet that call by god fast forward when they speak a word and they tell you what to do do this and do that then things begin to happen let me tell you 
I've told you people that it's time of cheer. Not me so. Uh, go and get your cheer and let us see what's going to happen. Because I told you that there's no chance, no place to place the cheers. But we have somewhere what I can just do it fast, fast, so that you can get your preaching. Praise the Lord. I pray for somebody that who is watching me. I pray for you. Are you there? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let me tell you. That some people they're not supposed to carry their, their, their babies this era. But now, because of prophets, we fast forward them to receive their blessing, their blessing. Those are their babies. And some people they're not supposed to walk. Pastors, prophets, they fast forward them to have a job. That's what, what we call a testimony and miracles. Not me so. Uh, today I have done and I fast forwarded many people test the miracles and in order for them to succeed. So this hour. For me to now fast forward you to the next level. Yeah. Are we ready now? Yeah. 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 Now, those are also, some people are also partaking. This one, good to now, we're going to run them up on Sunday. Some are watching us to partake on this cheer program. Occupy, taking back your glory, your position. Your position is made for you spiritually. Some people may think that position is not made for them spiritually. Let me tell you, your position is very important to every man. I hear you, sir. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I cannot hear somebody there. Hallelujah. I cannot hear somebody there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So that's why the Bible only clearly stated there in the book of Leviticus 25:10. When you go there, Leviticus 25 10, or why we are standing, please display it. We'll read it before. No, some people don't know that their position has been taken away. Your position has been tempered, they have taken it away. That's why you are, it seems you are not, it's, it's not working. Huh? How can somebody out oh, no, my God? The horses are moving, the slaves are on top. Why the kings and queens are on the barefoot? Error, somebody say, Error, error. Manipulation. They have manipulated them. Manipulated them. Because your destiny is very bright. You are seeing this thing. That is to tell you. You are seeing this thing in your dream. You are seeing estate. You are driving cars in your dream. Physically, you don't have it. That is the meaning. That is the meaning. You are seeing these things. You have estate. At the time you are in abroad, you have received these things in the dream. But physically, you are not seeing them. Because you're supposed to be at the post of that post. But physically, you don't have them. That's the meaning of that place. That's the meaning of that, that place. The horses are moving. Eh? I dream of abroad. Two times in Canada, in Canada. I have cars. I have a jeep. I have a, a total to, 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 Toyota, big Toyota. My wife have, said we have a very big car. In a dream? Yes, sir. But physically? Sir, they, they kick me down my church. Yes, now. What happened to physical? Sir, nothing. <laughs> You, 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 or put your hands together for that interpretation of that scripture. The horses, the horses are moving, priests, kings are moving on barefoot, and this is called servants, slaves on top of the horses. That is the meaning of that interpretation. Don't be misunderstand it. It's talking about every one of you, every one of us. I would not write that story again. <laughs> Talk about the story again. Huh? It for me, Papa. Rewrite it for me. Rewrite, interpret it for you. That's what I told you that you need an interpreter of the Bible. Somebody there to interpret it to you. You are reading it. Uh, the bear fruit, the bear fruit, uh, horses. You are reading you. You have been reading many, many times. Abi. You can understand. Who are the people that the starting and who are the rich people that are that working, working with barefoot and who are the slaves that are talking about? It's you. You dreamt. You have houses. You have cars. Some of them, they have babies. And they are looking for baby physically. That is what your, your positions are taken away from you. That's the meaning. And God has shown you in your dream. And you have nothing, nobody to help you out. Today, the hour has come. Oh, yes. Viewers all over the world, anywhere you want to partake, what this uh, is allowed. You can also tap from 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 the from the from the, our account there. Yes, tap it from the account. Send it to the account. It is the same because your name is written. 
for that just for that the bay the the priests and the kings are working with bay fruit all this is called slaves who not supposed to are you not seeing them like that you are many at times you not begin to see yourself uh -uh. i have seen a drove in the uh, uh, i i have a house in a dream but physically i am paying the house rent now he's talking about you that's the meaning don't be deceived he's talking about you and i are you hearing me somebody pray this prayer say my father, my father have mercy upon me fight my battle for me in the name of jesus my father my god have mercy upon me fight my battle for me have mercy upon me and fight my battle in jesus name we are praying Amen. father i pray for all your children that who are also watching us all over the world viewers all over the world i pray anybody that connected to this grace father there is grace here i speak to you i speak to your expectations may god answer you all amen i don't know where you want god to not attend in your case let god give you second chance amen. in order to operate under the heavens amen. in the name of jesus amen. father i pray for the children we are here with different faces different heart desire a prayer that sent forth delivers i prophesy psalm 107 20 says send for the word the word heal it i prophesy to every one of you every negative dream you dream about your life be canceled in the name of jesus christ and i also pray every stronghold that contenting with your glory let them be destroyed I prophesy anybody that fighting mercy city fighting mercy land i pray oh lord arise with your angels send your angel to fight for mercy city whosoever that fighting in this ministry oh lord begin to disgrace them disappoint them in the name of jesus father the battle is yours the battle is yours we have no hand to fight this battle it is you fight for your children Amen. they have different challenges in life Amen. father provide for them Amen. provide for them Amen. in the mighty name of jesus Amen. father you are the one that will provide for israel Amen. provide for your children Amen. father every uncompleted project be completed Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. anything that not uncompleted in your life from today be completed Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, I pray, let the blessings of God begin to shower upon your life. Amen. And I also pray, in this program, your position, you must take it. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let me display that place. Let us be read it before we close. Leventicus, Leventicus. 25:10. Take it there. Yeah. Is it there? Yes, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. And ye shall what? And ye shall. Hello. The fifth year, and what? Proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the habitation thereof it shall he it shall be a jubilee jubilee unto you jubilee unto who me unto you and yes shall return every man unto his possession your possession and yes shall return every man unto his family so shall it be in jesus name Amen. i prophesy to you anything that the enemies have taken away and using your glory to shine let god begin to bring them back to you Amen.
in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every disgrace the enemies planted against you, fire. Let them back fire to send her. Amen. I pray for you. Every uncompleted project that you are now going through, let them be completed under one month. Under one month. Every photo you carry, your answers, I prophesy. Anything in your hand, you are watching me all over, all over the wall. Let God begin to now fight the battle for you Amen. and bless that it is in your hand, Amen. that photo in your hand, Amen. in the name of the Father, Amen. Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now, we have to now bring out our offering and begin to now drop them wherever you are all over the world Nigeria, Africa, Asia, America, Europe. We have the account are displaying on this on this on the on the screen they are coming to us but don't be deceived by any man that bearing or giving you the account of jeremiah or calling you on social media bearing the account that says jeremiah basis of social account is fake don't allow those people to deceive you please frosters are using my name every second i don't talk to discuss with anybody anywhere on facebook of or any YouTube or any Twitter, please be careful. God bless you. Stand up on your feet and begin to lift up your hand. Father, I pray you are the God of Israel. Answer our prayers as we prayed. Father, answer us. Father, anywhere where there is darkness, don't allow your children to enter into that place. Any business are not good for us, don't allow us to enter into that business. Father, direct us to the right business that will take us to the next level. Have mercy upon your children. Some are watching from Ghana. Some are watching from South Africa. Some are watching from Nigeria, from America, from America, from Asia, from Europe. They are watching from rare remits. We have the account there. Father, anywhere they transfer this money, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Papa, we have cash up. We have also access account from different cities and also villages, countries that are watching us. As you transfer, you shall never ever regret. Father, the grace that push a man to the next level will push you to the next level in Jesus' name. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. <laughs> Everybody lift him up, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
bless you, God bless you, God bless you. You may be seated, every one of you. True warrior. Elisha was blessed through warrior. Let me tell you how he was blessed. Elisha was the person that who was washing the hands of Elijah's legs and hands with water every time until he left. It was water that he used to now take care of him until he was blessed. So, you and I need this one. Don't, don't be, the double grace. You want to get double grace? Water must come home. So, everybody just prepared for the double grace. Then the pregnant women, because of our sins, their abortions and thereof, so that now affecting our lives. So the, the Lord said, He's going to now wash you people with a rain water to purify you people to receive the babies. So just get ready. There are rains are coming. And everybody prepare yourself for rains. Different groups are coming. Rainfall after like that. Different pattern. That's how the Lord told me. All of them for a purpose in order to wash away our sins and give us whatever thing and give us double grace those are who are handicaps workers businessmen double grace are you hearing me so it's good to work for both of us every one of us to succeed for higher grace and god bless you put it in mind i will say say it because many of you are not here and god bless you all in jesus name some people ask me about politics say who is going to be the president i said i don't have interest in that i've told you it's not consign my consign so nobody should go and ask me that thing. papa what are you saying about this one i said forget about it myself is pray for them who will be there i've told you that the person will going to be a person that's going to change our lives simple as abc any person you see there you will be surprised i'm saying it that's what the lord told me to tell you so not this thing so anyone you see for there it is god wants to now use the changes yes to change it you will see the changes that's all may god bless us in jesus name and for all go and also register of your, your pvc yes pvc is very very important are you hearing me and for cast your vote it's you that going to make them win anyone you need come and vote for the person me i'm not for anybody i'm for all parties and for what? All parties. <laughs> I'm not for one party. For all parties. Both PDP and APC. I'm there. All parties. Now AGO, Labour, I'm there. <laughs> Abgao. I am there for all. God bless you all in Jesus. Lift up, lift up your hands. Father, I pray for your hands. These hands have been lifted up. Father, there are things that have been taken away from them. Father, let your angels revise them back to them. This is the hour, the season of revival. Father, revive them back to them in Jesus' name. Amen. You can never ever move with empty handed. Let God surprise you. Let God favor you. Because you have a counter with my God. Anything that is in your hand, anything that, that your hand have touched, that the enemies have also tapped from today, I pray. Let God of Jeremiah begin to now answer your hands. Anything you touch from today, let there be double blessings i pray for your hands and i pray for your water lift up your water and your oil anything i pray for your water you can see the water that i prayed for that now destroying the strong woman and strong man today i pray for the water anywhere you go any place you enter as you lifted this water i pray for you anything is in your hand as you use it your enemies must be destroyed amen Am I talking to praying for somebody? I receive. I pray for somebody. I receive it. Your enemies must be destroyed. Amen. Our enemies must be destroyed. Amen. That thing is your hand. The Bible says, Moses, what is in your hand? Use it. I prophesy. Anything, whether phone, answers, anything, picture, photo, apple, anything in your hand, water in your hand, or medical report or depth reports or quit notice anywhere you are watching me from today let god of jeremiah begin to now answer them in the name of jesus i receive god will answer you for you to specify i receive 
God will bless you with the blessing. I receive it. In the name of the Father. I receive. God will surprise you. Amen. In the name of the Son. I receive. God will give you a smile. I receive it. Of the Holy Spirit. I receive. In Jesus' name. Amen. The pregnant women go and deliver. Your wife is pregnant. You're watching me anywhere you are. Pregnant women deliver safely in Jesus' name. Amen. And also pray for all those that who are here and who are now watching me and who are here. I prophesy to your life favor will be your portion amen anywhere you have made mistake before god will show mercy upon your life amen in order to correct us in the name of jesus amen. shame and disgrace shall never ever be our portion amen and shall never be your portion amen. in the name of jesus amen thank you father thank you jesus let god fight for your helpers amen. god begin to bless you wherever you are watching me in america in asia you are watching me from europe in african countries papa i pray Father, wherever they are in Nigeria, Father, bless them. Partners, you are blessed. Partners of Mercy TV, you are blessed. Father, let God's favor in this month fall upon your life. I receive. In the sixth month, Mary was favor. Let favor in this sixth month. Anybody that hearing my voice, the favor of God shall not pass you by. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Where the enemy say you will die, that where you will be lifted higher. I receive. Where the enemy say think that you will be dis destroyed, you will be condemned, that where you will be smile and dance. I prophesy. I prophesy. I receive. And I prophesy to somebody. I receive. Favor is your portion. I receive. Mercy is your portion. I receive. Grace is your portion. I receive. As you are now going anywhere you enter, let there be testimony. I receive. Let there be signs and wonders. I receive. That sickness in your body, as you drink that water, that sickness is taken away. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That brother that sick, that sister that sick, I pray that sickness, that sickness, that man, that woman that appeared to you in your night hours, in your dreams, from today, the blood of Jesus, the lion of the tribe of Judah, begin to now cover you. I receive. Pursue all your pursuers. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Go. That shame and disgrace are taken away from you. Amen. Go. That challenges are taken away from you. Amen. Go. That delay has been taken away from you. Amen. That evil attack has been taken away from you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go. You will hear a good news. I receive. Go. Let the blood of Jesus cover the four corners of your room. I receive. Of your parlor. I receive. Let the angel Gabriel go to your helpers and begin to disturb your helper to help you. I receive that he. Provide for your helpers to help you. I receive it, Papa. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Father. Amen. Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Someone say, I receive three times. I receive. I receive. I receive. I pray for you once again. Anything that make you to come to Mercy City. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. I pray for you all. The favor of God will go with you. I receive. The favor of God will be with you. I receive. Papa. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive it today. As that water you carry, it will work for you. I receive. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hey, but the blessings of God will go with you. I receive that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Go and succeed. I receive it. Go and make it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The power of God will go with you. Amen. Let the power of God go with you. I receive it. You shall never ever die young. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Where is the wizard? Come and be healed. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Jesus. Be healed. Amen. Stand up and walk. Stand up and walk. Yes. Rise up and walk. Walk. Rise up and walk. Amen. Where is that walking stick? Come on, bring it. Let me see it. Bring it there. Power of the Holy Ghost. You must walk. Open your eyes. Open your eyes, Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. Drink it. 
All right. Calm down now. Walk. 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 Live a live a live a live a walk. Live a there walk. Small, small. Don't rush. Power. Power. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Receive your healing. I receive. Walk without walking sick. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Come, stand up and walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Come, stand up and walk without walking sick. Come on. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Just take a look at that. Don't take a look at that. Power. I prophesy to you. You are all healed. You are all delivered. I receive. You are all healed. I receive. The sickness is over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Holy Amen. Holy Amen. If you are Solomon, you are healed. I receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come here. Come here. Let the worker come here. Let the worker come here. Let the worker come here. 